This is part four of our five-part series on the major world religions, and today we will be focusing on Christianity. On this first slide, you will see several of the symbols for Christianity. First, of course, is the cross, which represents the crucifixion of Christ. Next is the fish, or the ichthus, and also the Cairo, which form the first two letters of the Greek word Christos. This Cairo also includes the Greek letters for Alpha and Omega, meaning beginning and the end. The story of Christianity can be broken down into four main parts. It starts with the birth of Jesus, which is commonly depicted in the Nativity story and celebrated at Christmas. Jesus was born around 1 CE, and the modern calendar splits at the approximate year of his birth. Christians hold that Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary and was the Messiah or anointed one, meaning he was the son of God. Between 26 and 29 CE, Jesus began a ministry and the tenet of this ministry was that he was the Messiah, the son of God. Due to Jesus's radical message of being the Messiah, he was crucified or killed on a cross in 33 CE. Christians hold that Christ died for the sins of the world and to open heaven to all people. Christians believe that at the moment of Christ's death, the curtain or veil that separated the Holy of Holies in the Jewish temple was torn in half, symbolizing that God was available to all people, not just the Jewish people and high priests. Lastly, three days after his death on the cross, Christians believe that Jesus rose from the dead in an event known as the resurrection. Christians use this event as a sign that people have a chance for eternal life if they believe in Jesus, and they celebrate Christ's resurrection on Easter. Depending on your denomination, there are different key people celebrated in the religion. First and foremost is Jesus. To be called a Christian, you must believe in Jesus Christ. Christian simply means a follower of Christ. To Catholics and Orthodox Christians, the Holy Family, particularly Mary, the mother of Jesus, holds a great deal of importance. All Christians recognize the twelve disciples are followers of Jesus. After Christ's crucifixion, Peter and Paul traveled the world to spread the message of Jesus. For Catholics, St. Peter is particularly important as they recognize him as the first pope or leader of the Catholic Church and he is buried beneath St. Peter's Basilica, also called the Vatican, in Rome, the home of the Pope. Catholics believe that all popes are the heirs to St. Peter's Church. The four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, are also prominent figures in Christianity, as they wrote the four Gospels, aptly named the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Christians use both the Old and New Testaments. However, the New Testament is typically more focused on in Christianity since it tells the stories of the life of Jesus and his teachings. The four Gospels are often a large focus for Christians and they are part of the New Testament. The major tenet of Christianity is that it is a strict monotheistic religion, meaning Christians only believe in one God. To Christians, Jesus Christ is the Messiah or the Anointed One. He was the Son of God. Christians believe in the concept of the Trinity, or God in three forms, the Father, or God in heaven, the Son, Jesus Christ, in human form, and the Holy Spirit, which guides and works through its followers. The core tenet of the faith is that if you believe that Jesus was Christ and the Messiah, then you will have eternal life in heaven, meaning that when you die, if you believed in Christ, you will go to heaven. Followers of Christianity are called Christians, and there are many different denominations. Out of all of the religions we will cover, Christianity is one of the most diverse in terms of different types and denominations of followers. Christians are usually categorized by three big categories, Protestants, Catholics, or Orthodox. Protestants are the most diverse, and this includes many different types of churches, such as Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, Lutherans, Episcopalians, and many more. The Orthodox Church is very similar to the Catholic Church and breaks down into two main types, the Greek Orthodox Church and the Russian or Eastern Orthodox Church. Lastly, in Egypt, there is a unique and very ancient form of Christianity known as Coptic Christian. They have their own Pope in Egypt and are more religiously aligned with Orthodox Christianity.
All of these different denominations have unique practices and traditions. However, their faiths are all rooted in the idea that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and the belief in eternal life through Christ. Christianity is located all over the world, with the highest populations in Eastern Europe, South and Central America, Central and Southern Africa, and areas of Western Europe and North America. While there are small populations, Christians form minority groups in most of the Middle East and Northern Africa due to the prevalence of Islam, and most of Asia due to Hinduism, Buddhism, or other Eastern religions or atheism. Religious leaders in Christianity in large part depend on your denomination. For Catholics, the Pope, currently Pope Francis, is the leader of the worldwide church. For most Christians, however, the day-in, day-out leader who they come into contact with the most will be their church's priest, pastor, or reverend. Christians worshipped in many different structures, usually churches. However, there are larger churches, known as cathedrals or basilicas, such as the one in Milan pictured at the top, and then there are smaller places of worship, like chapels. For most Christians, Israel is considered the Holy Land and is the land of the Bible. Many Christians make pilgrimages to the sacred sites for Christianity in Israel, and specifically around Jerusalem. These include places like the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which according to tradition contain two of the holiest sites in Christianity, the site where Jesus was crucified, also known as Calvary or Golgotha, and the empty tomb of Jesus. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre was originally built in 335 CE and was later rebuilt and restored. Also in Jerusalem is located the Mount of Olives and Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed and slept the night before his crucifixion. Israel, of course, is also the location for Jesus' birthplace, Bethlehem. The two most celebrated holidays in Christianity are Easter, which commemorates the resurrection of Christ, and Christmas, which commemorates the birth of Christ. There are many other holidays and religious observances depending on your denomination, including feast days for saints, celebrations like Palm Sunday, Ash Wednesday, Lent, and many more.